Finally, finally, we can say with certainty that these dams, these dams are coming down and it's about damn time. Four dams along the Klamath River are expected to be removed by the end of 2024. I've worked for the tribe for about 20 years uh, on efforts to remove the lower four dams in the Klamath River. It's been a fight for generations of family members. The earliest memories I have have kind of been advocating for the Klamath Dam removal. But even after the decision from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, it's still hard for some to believe. This has been a hard-fought battle for a lot of years. There's been a lot of kind of false starts, if you will. It's very surreal, you know, when you think about an intergenerational fight finally coming to an head, you're just like, well, I, I got to see this happen before I can actually believe it because we've been kind of told that this was going to happen throughout the whole process. And um, there's always a lot of red tape that kind of interfered. Most of the work to remove the dams will begin in 2024, but there's still work to be done in the coming months. We do have to do some spillway repair. We're building up some roads because we're going to have dump trucks in those roads. There's some bridges that need to be reinforced. All of that is in the first year of actual removal. And then we get to the drawdown, which is a slow lowering of the water levels in the reservoir. The KRRC expects that to happen towards the end of 2023. And once that's done, it's on to the dams. Here behind me is the Iron Gate Dam, which standing at over 160 feet tall is the largest of the four dams in the Klamath River. When it comes to actually taking the dams down, Spain says it's not like what you see in the movies. We'll be actually taking the jackhammers and the dump trucks and taking the dams down from the top down, gradually. Uh, there's no blasting caps. You know, no, no giant uh, celebrations. He says it will be a long but carefully controlled process and the engineering team responsible for removal is ready to take it on. We know how to do it. The engineering company that we use, Kiwit, has experience in dam removal and dam construction projects. With the project expected to be completed at the end of 2024, there's one big thing that those who fought for dam removal want others to know. I think it's a really good example for communities around the country, especially rural communities who have to take on whether it's big energy companies or, or other big corporations to preserve their way of life and take care of their communities that you can you can win those battles. Reporting in Siskiyou County, McKenna Marks, Newswatch 12.